Hello again, everybody. Uh, I couldn't find, uh, or I didn't have the time to film me teaching somebody else something, so I'm just going to teach y'all how to turn one of these into one of these. So the first thing that we need to understand is how light is going to travel through our telescope. So basically, the way light travels, it comes in here, and you have your eye right there. So the light rays come in, and they have a focal point. Called F. Now this first lens, as you can see, has a focal length of 500 and it's convex. So it's going to bring these light rays right there. So this length, 500 millimeters. Now this other lens is concave and it has a focal length of negative 15. Now what that means is, so you see with this lens it's got a positive 500. Basically that means it focuses light along the ray of travel. This one with negative 15 has a focal point that goes backwards along the ray of light. And so that's why it's negative 15. Now essentially, you want these two focal points to meet up right there. Now you have a bit of wiggle room here because the human eye is capable of uh, focusing along a whole different range of focal lengths. So basically, you have your telescope, which is great, but then your eye uh, has its own imaging system in it, its own system of lenses, so it can work with things a little bit. Now the easiest way to make a one of these is to use one of these because this is a telescoping mailing tube, so it's already halfway done. All you have to do is cut these things to the right size. This one's the outer one. It's slightly wider, uh, so the inner one can fit through it. A good rule of thumb is, you know, if your focal length, you, you add your two focal lengths together, uh, and that should be the rough approximation of how long uh, the telescope should be. The objective lens is stuffed way down inside there, so you have to add a couple inches on here because the lens is actually sitting in about there. And this side, I just have this little nub so I can have a bit of uh, play here. Since this lens is that negative 15 uh, that was out of that case, um, I don't really need too long of a stem here. From here to about here, I believe is 750 millimeters. This negative 15 is sitting right in there somewhere as well. And so this just allows your eye to focus because some people wear glasses and, and you know there's different things so that's the basics of how to get the size right and once you got this guy all chopped up you can start on the inner one now the inner one is a lot more complex simply because this is serving multiple functions on the inside I don't think you can really see it in there but if you can see right here this is one of the inner ones it's a very short piece only goes in right about there I have the lens and then I have another small ring on the inside and this sort of holds that main objective lens in place same sort of thing here this is an inner thing except since this lens is so skinny uh, I basically had to cut out a ring and sort of finagle it into place you want to paint the insides and the outsides and whatnot nice non-reflective matte black uh, just so that way you can cut down on internal reflections and I guess you can paint the outside whatever you want. After that it's basically just um, putting it all together. I find as a good rule of thumb it's best not to glue everything together. The, these things fit together so tightly ugh, that you generally, I mean once 
once you have everything cut out, you can sort of construct your entire telescope and then test and make sure that you got the sizes right and everything's focusing right. Um, and do that before you glue, just so that way you don't end up with a nice, rather expensive paperweight. I guess that's my video. I'll see you all next week. Oh, and I almost forgot, if you've never had a chance to play around with one of these telescoping uh, tubes, A, they're fun because eh, it stays in place. Um, that looked dirty. Also, you can do fun stuff like this. I'm really glad I didn't hit my camera.